understanding that I've got of it thus far when it comes to Ukraine and Russia, it seems as though that this is a grandiose attempt to, for some big history to be made. So it's just a real big power play, really. And from the again, from the information I've seen thus far, an unnecessary one in that. And so uh, I really do truthfully hope that this gets resolved and honestly once again it goes back to the times uh, earlier where i've spoken about a lot of things bubbling up in the world from the pandemic to uh global warming to even more things that stretch out outside of the states really worldwide and it, once again we had now have another thing added on to that list with this at least from from what i could grab from like you know other news articles and everything like that from what i saw from abc news is um the fact that uh, russia or i guess vladimir putin more specifically was he had a disagreement with um with the two it's like two countries that's like kind of in between like in between the two other countries between uh, russia and uh in uh, Ukraine, but it's like two other countries. I can't remember the name specifically, but they're both, uh, they both pretty much got their own independence, but he was trying to, I guess from, from what I, like from what I read and heard and stuff like that, he's trying to gain back the control over those two countries and everything like that. Yep. And, and, and that's where they kind of, I mean, not kind of, they definitely butt heads leading with Russia um, invading Ukraine, which is, which is also how, I mean, I can't, I can't, I'm not no political genius or anything like that, but from, from how it looks, it's just like a, it's just like Russia is giving kind of like a complete like disregard to not even just humanity, but like just the civilians who like literally have nothing to do with the government system that you're trying to fight against. You know what I'm saying? So you got all these civilians and stuff caught in the crossfire, people losing their, their homes, family members. You know, I've, I've seen clips of like fighter jets flying through the cities, just bombing buildings, mm -hmm. buildings collapsing. I've seen videos of Russian tanks just driving over like civilian cars while they're trying to evacuate the country and they're literally just driving the tanks on the cars with the people in the car like just and then just sitting on top of the car just to make sure that the people are dead it's just really I mean it's just really like really inhumane honestly um, and then with with the with everyone also trying to leave the country as well you know you got people who are also visiting so like you have another thing with with africans and or nigerians and other people come from other countries that, who are visiting who are receiving like you know uh, mass prejudice to even the people yeah. of ukraine you know what i'm saying because yeah they're trying to you know the you have the ukrainians trying to say like you know they're trying to look out for their people first mm -hmm. you know saying like well, why are you here in the first place and just just the clips it's just it's just another this is just another point in time of like where you see another great divide and um you know now with with how things are going between uh biden and his response and well just the u.s's response i mean i don't i don't know where things are leading to however from just the things that are being said back and forth between just not even just the united states and russia but every other ally of ukraine looks like it's heading towards another you know another big time war which is i mean wars it's never it's not good but i mean uh, there's nothing we can do about that but i just want to definitely send my condolences to just not even just the people in ukraine but people who are just visiting their u.s civilians who are just visiting who just probably just want to vacation or business or anything like that caught mm -hmm. you know just mm -hmm. like i said just sending my condolences to people who are just caught in the crossfire of that whole event this is just really really unfortunate yeah it's uh it's definitely a sad thing to think about i never want to 
hear about anybody um, just having to fear for their life unwillingly. It's definitely a very tough spot to be in um, when you're represented by your uh, ideal uh, or your ideologies and things as a whole is kind of marginalized because you have one person or one group of people representing um, your nation. Oh, you know nation. What I mean? And um, sometimes it's, you know, it's hard to to want to voice those things because then you feel like you're on one side and then people mm-hmm. on the other side and, mm-hmm. you know, not to get political or anything like that. But, um, you know, it's very tough. And, um, you know, definitely if you take anything from, you know, what's going on, this mainly just needs to be just please just continue to open your eyes and look for things like this so that way you're not in the dark and you know about things and honestly just know how to move forward and not move forward from these events but move forward with yourself and how you can you know go about and what you can do um definitely once again like like when i said condolences to everybody out there in ukraine that's dealing with this right now and same thing for russia as well too as far as the people that are against the war um and they're getting locked up and put away because i saw that they, the numbers of people today was locking up in russia for um like protesting was crazy i'm talking like hundreds of thousands of people getting locked up and that's over like three days of sp- like a d- three-day span so that's it's crazy. insane yeah yeah it's insane um and uh yeah i mean i just hope everything just obviously gets better and gets to a, a more stable point so you know we yeah. can start trending towards the right right type of lifestyle man this is a and again a, a, just for the people in the states a very for those who and i know it can be very easy to forget uh very empathizing and not only that a very grounding moment in humanity once again a lot of people haven't even experienced a state siren for like a natural disaster so could you imagine airports being bombed in like yeah. your surrounding area people are trying to leave and like you were talking about tanks are pulling through like uh, and you haven't even experienced having to evacuate for a natural disaster right. so remember that genuinely and just taking that into uh thought and into your feelings as well when it comes to that be very thankful for what you do have and very thankful for the things that are going well in life 